Demonstration. Well, actually, you and soon, but eh, our boy was there. Anyway, so come hello everyone, two. and welcome to Let's Play Soul Caliber Two by me, Floodmon Fourteen. And let's get into it right away. So, really quick, guys. Some of you may be confused as to what's going on. But, uh, I'll explain things as we get further into the episode. Ooh. Nope. Actually want to go delete. There we go. Joe. H. R. U. I. C. H. I. Sweet. Joe Ruichi. Yeah, baby. So, we're starting new save file. Um, yeah, I have done videos of this. Chosen by history. Amen becomes a warrior, engraved into history. A warrior becomes a true hero. Quote by a random person, because I didn't read fast enough. Countless legends surround the sword known as Soul Edge. Some claim it as the ultimate weapon, others refer to it as Sword of Heroes, a phantom sword with measurable power. You can pause the screen to read the rest. That sword, born from human hands, came to life, gave valley souls that been in human blood countless times. Yes, this is the story of Soul Calibur. Mid saw Soul Edge as the ultimate prize. Rumors about the demonic sword passed from person to person, tempting those who've heard of its stories. This era was uninundated with clashes and battles of warriors who roamed the lands in their quest for Soul Edge. Yeah, this is the story of that tale. This is your tale of souls. So, you'll get the tutorial uh, here to start the game real quick. Uh, just a quick note. Yes, we are starting from the beginning. Yes, I know, I've probably played more or up to this point, but yeah, I haven't done any videos on this on Soul Calibur 2 in about 11 months, so... And we hadn't made that much progress anyway. So, uh, actually, in celebration of... One of the parts on this, Soul Calibur 2, recently got to 100 views, and that's a milestone for this channel. So, and coincidentally, I just uploaded episode 100 of Dawn of Destiny. Uh, it's it's on private, because I'm I'm still editing quite a bulk of videos, and, um, I guess I can skip this. Uh, this, by the way, is just a tutorial, in case you're new to the game. Uh, but I'll, I'll explain that stuff, so. Um, anyway, let's go with Ivy, for whatever reason, and start reading the story. And I'll explain more about that 100 episodes. But actually, I'll just wrap it up here. Basically, yeah, got 100 views for the first time, gonna do... Part 100 on Dawn of Destiny, so hey, I thought, what better thing to do than to come back to this LP? And also, um, for those of you guys who watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour recently, you heard me talk about, oh no, my computer almost crashed, yada yada yada. Well, while it was, you know, dead on the blue screen of Death with Ghosts in the Machines, I said to myself, hey, what should I do? Should I do a new LP? Should I play... Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, should I do this, should I do that, should I play, you know, Eternal Duelist Soul, yeah, yeah, a bunch of ideas came to mind. This was the best one I had. I, I, I said to myself privately, I said, okay, we're going to do a little test here. Whatever series comes to 100 views, we're going to go back to it first. Whether it was uh, Naruto Ninja Storm, uh, Pokemon Emerald, or this series. And hey, 
this series one out. And now I didn't tell anybody about this. I just wanted to see see it all play out like a malevolent puppet, puppet master from behind the scenes and see which one would hit 100 views first. And hey, this one did. So in a strange way, you guys voted for this series. So now let's get to it. That's it for the update. Chapter one. <laughs> You stood before the entrance to the probing grounds in the land of Regulus, famous for its skilled swordsmen. You predicted your journey to find the legendary ultimate sword, Tenzu Zangetsuha. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just sorry, that's a bleach reference. Soul Edge would likely become a difficult one. Therefore, you travel to Regulus in order to polish your fighting skills before setting off on a dangerous, dark quest into the Shadow Realm. After passing through the gates, you found a man standing before you, blocking your path. Halt! You who seek mastery of the way of the warrior, we have no interest in those who lack potential. First, you must prove your worth. Whip! <clears throat> it seemed. You had to fight this man to prove your strength and determination. Seeing you take hold of your weapon without a moment's hesitation, the man grinned and said, <laughs> uh, that? Well, well, looks like we've got a lively one here. Yeah, good. I think this one's got some promise. Alright. So yes, epic voices, epic intro, epicness is epic. Let's do it. Alright, so to start here, basically, once you're new to the game, you'll want to press start, and that way you can go to character select and pick whoever you like. Raferu, uh, Astroth, my personal favorite. Nightmare, a lot of people's favorite. Now, this is exclusive to Xbox uh, 360, and that is... Who is this? Is this Spawn? I think it's Spawn. Yeah, it's Spawn. And, of course, you have the classics. Keelik, Zhanghua, Maxi, Taki, Mitsurugi, Youngsung, Talim, and Boldo, as well as Heihachi. So to start here, I'm actually going to go with... Eh, we'll go with Talim. Normally I pick Astroth for everything, just because I'm so good with Astroth. But, uh, yeah. Also, Weapon Select. Can't really do much there. But once you... Yeah, you can also access shop here in the if you press start, like from this point. So go to shop, and after you get a few gold, you can come here and buy new weapons. Now these weapons do various different things. Uh, I'm actually gonna make a separate video explaining exactly what weapon does, the name of it, which character uses it, what exactly it does in the game. But that'll be a bonus episode, and that'll probably be, like, episode 15, like, way, way into the future. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> yeah, I sent you a determination. I am impressed. After a few bouts, the man said this to you and patted your shoulder lightly. You've been accepted into the Regulus Proving Grounds. Da, 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 da. Your training began the next day. And it seems the man who tested you, Edgar, was also to be your trainer. Hmm. Wimp, we'll start with the basics. Taking your weapon in hand, you waited for Edgar's next words. It's time to duel! Du 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 Rule! It's a gruesome quest to search for the ultimate sword. Wind, guide me. Fine. I accept your challenge. Final battle, fight! Alright, and this is the tutorial battle. So, if you're playing on Xbox, and really, actually, the fun fact about this game, the controls of this game are pretty much the same throughout the plat whatever platform you use. Uh, it's the same location of the buttons. Let me just put it that way. For example, if you're playing this on PlayStation 4, you'll be pressing square here to perform a horizontal attack. Now, in the command list, you'll notice stuff like this, A-A-B. That would be, for, for PS4, it'd be square, square, triangle. Now, for here for Xbox, uh, let's do a different command. Uh, forward, A-B. That would be forward, X, Y. 
for that move. Anyway, so let's do that move. Horizontal are useful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, perform. Now press B to perform a vertical attack. Okay. And it's funny because I did that move combo, so we got both of those tutorial things out of the way. A vertical attack is good for countering your opponent's horizontal attack. This is true. Press K to perform a kick. So, hitting you with one. There you go. Most kicks are quick attacks, and uh, quick kicks are circle or B if you're playing Xbox. So there you go. And for to guard, you press X on PS4, and you press A here on Xbox. So, time to guard. There you go. Can't win battles if you can't defend. That's true. Uh, the best offense is a good defense. So there you go. You can run by holding the directional pad. This is true. So let's do that. There you go. And you can also run backwards as you saw there. Uh, it doesn't matter which direction you hold it in. There you go. And now, throws. This would be X plus square on PS4. Here on Xbox, it is X plus A. Confusing, I know. But there we go. Alright, next up is guard impact. This is pretty tricky. Basically, you have to time the guard. So, the instant your opponent hits you, you have to press X on PS4 and um, basically counter them. And you press A here on Xbox uh, 